If you're looking to save time recording, refining, and repurposing your video content online, this video is for you. Riverside's Video Editor has quickly become one of the fastest ways to edit YouTube content. And in this video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes in my Riverside studio. To try Riverside for free, visit LaShondaBrown.com slash Riverside. Without further ado, let's hop in. When you're ready to log in, you'll want to go to Riverside.fm. From there, you'll click on the login screen in the top right hand corner. If you've logged in recently, it'll go straight into your dashboard. If not, you'll need to log in with your appropriate information. At the very top of the page, it's going to ask you, what are you planning to do today? You can record, you can plan content, you can upload content, you can immediately start to edit, or you can leverage the AI voice tool. So in this case, let's say I want to record a YouTube video. So I'm going to click on record and it's going to open up my studio. This is the same screen that will show up if you are for instance, inviting people to your Riverside studio to record a podcast. That was the first way that I was introduced to Riverside. It is the number one way to record high quality video interviews for your podcast. And what's really nice about it is it separates the audio and the video feeds for each person so you can get the highest quality feed possible. Um, I have tried other tools and I have noticed that they compress everything and the video quality just isn't there. So if you specifically are a podcaster, Riverside is definitely a tool you'll want to have in your tech stack. So on the left-hand side, you're going to see the basic information, your name, are you using headphones or not? Highly suggest using wired headphones if you are being interviewed. And you just select that here and then click on join the studio. On the right-hand side, you can see where it's pulling in my video feed, my microphone, and my speakers if I'm trying to play back sound from me to here. So right now it says you're joining as a host, but you can also join as a producer. So if you are using Riverside to push out a video stream, say for instance, into a membership community, you can have your community manager join as a producer to help click some of those buttons so you don't have to worry about it. Now you can see on the right hand side, it gives me the option to invite people into my Riverside studio, which is fantastic because you don't have a different link every single time you go to record. So if you are automating some emails, then you can use the exact same link, just like you would in like a Zoom room to send to your podcast guests. All right, so let's get a little acclimated with the studio itself. To start recording, you'll just hit on the record button. You can also run a test recording if you need that. Your microphone controls are next, then camera, speaker, but then you can upload a script. So the script could just be something that you refer to, or you can use the teleprompter function if you are, say for instance, pushing a speech out to a community and you wanna do it word for word. Some people actually read off scripts when they speak, and so if that is something that you like to do, you can use the teleprompter function there. Um, you can also share a presentation and you can share your screen. So if you have some supplemental materials on another page, then you can actually select that screen and share it into Riverside when you're recording. So you don't have to add it in post, which is really nice. All right, on the right-hand side, you will see where there is a studio chat so if you invite multiple people into your studio, they can chat back and forth. And I've seen this happen in one of the membership communities that I've popped into that their members were able to chat with us in the studio chat. You can also upload your branding. The default is going to be Riverside's theme, but you can put your own theme in here. You can use Newsflash. And if you want to customize it even further, you can upgrade by clicking at the top. You can also play around with some lower thirds. So say for instance, if I added this here, it would say LaShonda Brown Studio. I can hide it if I want. Um, I could add, you know, Riverside to it, or I could make my own. So this would be great if you have like a call to action that you want to add to your video that again, you don't want to have to worry about adding in post. You can actually add that text inside your studio you can utilize these lower thirds to help engage your live audience, but you can also change that text in the editor if you need to. 
So when you're finished your recording, it's going to show you a thumbnail and you'll be able to view the transcript. If I click on view the transcript, it's going to show up within my dashboard. And if you're utilizing Riverside to record your podcast, you can actually just copy it directly from Riverside. One thing to note, your video quality is going to be better when you export it along with your audio. So don't be concerned when you see this video feed inside of the dashboard. One of the things that I really like about Riverside is the text-based editor. So say for instance, if you're recording your YouTube video inside of the platform and you misspeak or you say something that you just want to remove, instead of you having to scrub through the video and listen back, you can actually edit based on the transcript. So on the left hand side, if I wanted to remove anything from the video, I simply select it and I can delete it. If you see any mistakes in the transcript, you can highlight those sections and click on correct. From there, it will give you the opportunity to edit the text and then when you're done, you'll hit correct. Once you have edited your transcript, if you want to add captions, directly inside of Riverside, you can click on captions on the right hand side and it's going to pull the captions from the transcript. You can choose the style. Say for instance, I like this style here. You can move the location and you can change the way that the text is formatted. So you could add a background. Say for instance, you can change the colors to fit your branding. Um, say for instance, I want the pop color to be orange. So you can make those changes directly inside of the editor. When you're done, you can click on export in the top right hand corner. And this is where you'll see a few more options. You can export it as 1080p up to 4k. You can remove the watermark, normalize audio levels and remove background noise. Now there are also other options that you can add. You can add music directly in here. You can add um, photos and text. So you are able to do some basic editing directly inside of Riverside before you even hit export. So in this case, we'll go ahead and export this video and it will show up in our export folder, but we can keep editing if we need to. One of the things that I really enjoy about Riverside is it makes it easy for you to repurpose your content. So if you record your YouTube video in another platform, and you want to create, say for instance, YouTube Shorts from your recording, you can easily do that by uploading that video directly inside of Riverside. Now this sample is a recording from our recent workshop that's over an hour long. It would take me a ton of time to search through an hour long recording and find the best moments. Utilizing the Magic Clips tool inside of Riverside saved me a lot of time. So what I did was I uploaded the video, I clicked on Generate Clips, and you can see here that Magic Clips pulled out the best moments. So I am going to click on one of them and click on edit so you can see exactly what it looks like. So it took that long form piece of content and it created this clip that is under 60 seconds long that I can use as an Instagram reel or a YouTube short. It's going to pull in the transcript on the left hand side so that I can edit it and it'll give me the opportunity to add captions and text on the right hand side. The last thing that I want to show you before I let you go is the new AI producer. So when you are in the video editor function of Riverside, you can locate the AI producer in the top right hand corner. And this is where you're going to see some new options appear for you. You can remove pauses and improve your conversation flow with the set pace feature. So if you have a lot of dragging in your podcast, this is going to be a way for you to truncate it for your edit. You can smooth out the speech, removing filler words and unwanted sounds. You can use magic mute to mute people when they're not speaking. And you can use magic audio to enhance one audio track. So I hope you found this video useful. I would encourage you to give Riverside a try for free to see if it's something that you can work into your YouTube workflow. Because being able to record your content and then create your marketing material in the same application is going to save you a ton of time and help you to grow faster online. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you would like to try Riverside for free, use my link lashondabrown.com slash Riverside and use code LaShonda to save 20% when you upgrade. Until next time, ta-ta for now.